Dana, no audio. I know. Let's try that again. It's October the 27th, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org. And you can find these videos and Fukushima presentations at Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube. YouTube is the only site on the internet. And that's why Google bought it was because it had the uh, patent for streaming videos down for the buffering and everything else. And now they have a preferential highway on the internet. And so uh, YouTube videos are one of the quickest videos you can download on the internet is a uh, proof of that. Uh, also today, now we're going to do part two of Japan's uh, meltdowns. Uh, J Japan no more, you know. Japan has fallen. I don't know which way to really say to people. Uh, three melter reactors and the fourth one. Unit 4 is the same thing as a melter reactor, but it had many reactors on the sixth story of the building. And just a quick reminder, that's Unit 1, as 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. That's Unit 2, 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. That's Unit 3, 100% meltdown, melt through, melt out. That's Unit 3 again. <laughs> it's 2 million times worse than any other reactor on the planet. That's Unit 4. So on the sixth floor of this building was the fuel pools. The sixth floor. This was a 10-story building. You gotta think about what happened in Japan it was an earthquake of over nine magnitude, a thousand times worse than Hiroshima. Hiroshima. A thousand times worse than Haiti's earthquake. It was devastating. People are a couple of hundred thousand people are still living in tents. The entire infrastructure is destroyed. Then, you know, this is at 9,000 miles an hour throughout the country, an uh, earthquake of just unimaginable proportions. Then you had a tsunami wash away uh, almost 500 miles of the coastline, 500 kilometers, I always, you can call it what you want. The tsunami went right down into other countries too. But the whole east coast of Japan is what I'm trying to impress upon everybody. 2,000 square miles washed out the sea of that coastline. 2,000 square miles of houses and buildings and structure and everything else. So this was unimaginable. Then they had, a, then they had at the same time, they got meltdowns throughout the country going on. Everything was on the east coast, the open ocean of Japan. It was in updated with this huge mass of 45 foot wave. And I'll just run down to that quick video, and we're just going to jump right away after that into the headlines for today and yesterday. And when you, I'll just give you a picture right now. We're going to come back to that video later to bring some context to it. And so I'll go down to make sure the comments is rolling along. Yeah, and uh, you couldn't hear me originally, but you can hear me now. I'll come over and see. That's the problem with streaming on the internet alive sometimes and that went on for a good 30 seconds or a minute even brutal things for today and yesterday so we're streaming and my apologies folks yeah you got to refresh and so everybody got lost in the shuffle and i and i should have uh came in and typed that in there right away for everybody refresh your page because the, when you're streaming the, uh, it's complicated the audio won't automatically jump back in if I didn't have it on at the mic, right? If it wasn't their problem, it was my problem. So, my apologies. Keep your eye on the comments section. Saving my butt again. Miss Milky had to phone me yesterday because my... So I'm off my rhythm already now. Miss Milky had to phone me yesterday during the live stream because when I'm trying to show you stuff... Uh, from the presenter, from the desktop presenter. And I can't stream another stream and monitor myself because then it gets, it's chewing up the bandwidth and you get a chewy in on your side. And who's going to watch that? Nobody, right? Except for the hounds from Fukushima who put up with me a couple of times going to almost a whole stream without no audio. <laughs> Everybody just went off and chatted to themselves and laughed at me. But not in a bad way. So recent headlines, I'll cover them real quick. Stop Fukushima freeways. 
launches a campaign against Yucca Mountain. And it's about shipping stuff to Yucca Mountain. It's just another way of attacking them. And they're saying you should leave it where it's till rather than shifting it all over the place until Yucca Mountain or something else is ready. Is another way. I can misinterpret stuff, don't. Because I go through so much. The waste would still have to be moved there if there was an intern. And so America waste sites, when it comes to American waste sites, they got waste sites all over the country that are temporary for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, and then they're going to move it somewhere else. And they have different types of uh, sites. So there's a stupid amount of this stuff. It's like 150 million pounds. And a pound can kill everybody, 1,500 people, in a big theater in, a, in 20 minutes. Every 20 minutes, till the end of time. If you can get people foolish enough to go in there. And so, we're off to a weird start on episode 11. I'm just going to jump back over and make sure that that desktop presenter shows up. And that'll only take a second, and then we'll jump back over to the headlines and start boogieing. And that should jump over any second at all here. And I'll get that next headline. And I'll start talking while we're waiting to see if it shows up in the stream over here. Loud and clear, Bob says, Chris, everybody... In the comment room, at Beautiful Girl by Dana. And like you say, it's hard for people who don't know. I always start, usually always started off the video with five minutes of saying hi to everybody and trying to warm up. But I understand also that you're trying to bring in new people and you just got to tell the story. And so at the end of the show, after one hour, we have a little hi hi and hellos. And hopefully I can get better at what I'm doing at that part of the show. And. Yeah, so the Concordian is up. Concord's dirty little secret. A nuclear waste dump. Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Concord, Massachusetts is quaking as Americans. Blah, blah, rolls over in his grave. Hang on. I didn't even want to read that. So both dumping both sewage and toxic industrial waste into the town's waterways. The town ship has turned... Thorold's beloved Walden Woods into a municipal landfill and compost pile of toxic waste dumping is nothing new. Runs deep. Um, you got an echo going. Hang on, I'm going to get a bit of noise and turn that down. Just one of those days where I'm doing everything wrong. Keep going. And I can't remember the point I wanted to make with this. Yeah, I think of sending your sons or daughters to... Uh, to Orwell's day camp in order to give your child a chance, the cancer to experience nature, the chance to experience nature and participate. I wasn't too far off, to Mark. But anyway, don't send your children to these places where there's nuclear waste dumps. <laughs> right? Don't send your children over without looking into either one of these spots where the waste dumps and waste rods and the nuclear power plants are hemorrhaging. If they're within that area, don't send your child to that camp. I'm sure the people who run the camp are nice people. I'm just saying. If your child in here inhales an atom, it's pretty easy to stay in age anywhere. As gallows laugh, folks. Workers' safety at hand for cleanup remains a top priority. <coughs> <coughs> that's hilarious anyway but anyway Hanford has a they dump billions of gallons directly into the soil there's got 500 square miles at Hanford it keeps getting bigger right and they've been making plutonium triggers and plutonium uh, enrichment for nuclear weapons and just dumping it in the, into the Columbia River dumping it into the Pacific Ocean. It's hemorrhaging out of there all the time. There's no way to contain it. Hanford just walking through it is a guaranteed cancer in 10, 20, 30, 40 years down the road or an autoimmune deficiency. It's guaranteed. And unless you're, you're eating extraordinary healthy and you're making $120,000 a year and you have everything given to you, still lots of people at Hanford gets cancers and dies. But it's never Hanford's fault, right? No, no, they got it from deer hunting on the east coast of North America. Um, and the deer was contaminated from Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh yeah, that, that killed a guy who was working at Hanford. That's an actual true story. I'm not kidding. I'm not making that one up. You can't make that one up. Alice Jones had some guy up there, and that's the story he told. They discovered he got the cancer 
from deer hunting the year before, two years before, on the East Coast, and those deers were, on the East Coast now, were contaminated. But uh, they don't have a deer ban on the East Coast. Look, it's like they got 90 uh, uh, radiation detecting networks across America of 150 that are not working. So, you know, I got a novel idea. How about, oh, I don't know, calling up the company that makes them and say, hey, you know, I got a warranty. We're the government. You're going to fix them. You're going to get them back up and running. Huh? I, pff, I know Dana Dreamer. But if I buy something and it breaks, I check the warranty. I don't know about the rest of you. Sometimes I buy extended warranties. Yo, you don't think the government will take your money and spend it on something like that? Guess again. So 100% the Radnet was taken down on purpose. Their excuse was they all broke. 90 out of 150. If I had a company and I sold a... You know, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollar Geiger counters a pop to the government, and then all of a sudden my reputation is now destroyed. I will never buy a Geiger counter off for a company like that, right? Would you? That's not going to honor their warranties and going to leave America without a Geiger counter. They're not going to step up and say, "Hey, while well, we're trying to figure it out, we're going to install real Geiger counters because hey, that's how we make a dollar." You know, that's a cool thing. That that's like an act of good faith. Yeah. No, of course not. Oh, too bad, they're all broken. We can only sp we're already spending 61 cents on every dollar on the endless war tour 900 bases. Where the hell are we going to get money for Geiger counters? Nothing happened. Fukushima didn't happen. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'll, I'll start yakking and screaming here in a second. I killed American climate saving nuclear. I can't even say those words without trying to scream at the same time. Climate saving? There's 10,000 abandoned uranium mines in America. It would bankrupt your company, your country, just to d take care of Hanford that we were just talking about. You would bankrupt the country. You would have to hire everybody in the country to process this stuff. And they didn't want to drop it down in a hole in the ground. Oh, yeah, there you go. I got a solution. That's what my great pappy done, my his pappy done, and his pappy done for the last seven years. I think it's a pretty good idea. We got it. Well, then you look at the landfill down in St. Louis blowing up. We'll cover that in a few minutes again. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so, but, you know, these guys went down there and... Um, Less friendly is the white security pickup with a yellow roof flasher that materialized when I pulled my rental car to the side of River Road to take in the view. You could be a terrorist. But they're releasing it from their facility all the time in your community. They are the terrorists. So, satisfied that he's not a terrorist, the guards let me head to the military style, where another security man with a Glock in his hip points to a glass in. Credentials are checked. Introductions are made. They're proud of the work they do. But on high alert, I can sabotage and bad publicity. I guess they never heard of the nuclear proctologist. I guess it's about time. So you got all this security, people with guns and everything else, but the, the plant, if you live within 15 miles, your children have a 20% more likelihood of getting leukemias and other diseases and all kinds of issues and cardiac and respiratory, and autism, and it's just 1,800 of these. And the evidence is, like, women, so you're six times more likely to get breast cancer if you live within 15 miles of a nuclear power plant or a nuclear dump. And, oh, they got dumps everywhere across America. America. I said America. I mean, 10 years of nuclear testing on top of that to spread it throughout the whole country. It's it's a genocide. It's a war. We're at war. They're at war with us. We're not at war against them. They're at war against us. So. And your loved ones and every insect and all the flanas and floras and all the life and species on the entire planet, all 8 million of us, this thing is at war against us, the nuclear industry. And they told you it was like a banana and a potato chip to lull you into that and so you can never... After so many years of conditioning, you got Stockholm Syndrome, Right? That's exactly what's going on. 
And Morocco. Dun, 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 dun. Poised to become a solar silver power with the launch of the desert mega project. Mega project. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, see if I had if I had the TriCaster, I could cut that out before you heard it, and I wouldn't be humiliated down the road because somebody is going to take that clip and try to make me look silly. But that's the TriCaster we're going after. And so uh, I will wreck, I will wreck their little safe paradigm they spent seven years creating. I get my hands on that thing there. Oh, oh, oh. But actually, that one's... Um, that's 30,000 bucks for that feller. <laughs> Dana and his high hopes. But I've made a conscious decision the last couple of days. That's what I'm going after. If I go if I go to the lower end, I'm going to just kick myself in the ass because I can't do the things I need to do. That gives me the production of Hollywood. I could, anything Hollywood can do, I could probably do better. And I don't even know what I'm doing. That's a lie. But i got eight years of editing. It's not like I don't know what I'm doing. I do these live streams in real time. I handle it all, all the time. And it's pretty hard to clip something out and use to attack me outside of my, outside of my antiques. And they are just antiques, right? Make your ordinary presentations extraordinary. So the TriCaster Mini is the one I was looking at. And uh, that's around 12,000 Canadian. A little puke, but it's pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. But it's not what we need to take down a trillion dollar a year industry or even to go up against it. It's fine. Don't get me wrong. I'd be proud as a peacock to have that and be able to utilize it. But, uh, you know, and you can upgrade a lot of the functions on it. But it doesn't have that full production. I can't make Hollywood movies and everything else the way I would like that I'm capable of making and that anybody is really capable of making with something like that. But anyway, we'll talk about that at the end of the show. I just brought that up because I wanted to stick it to the system out there. But Morocco is poised to become a solar superpower. Yeah? Because they got, you know, deserts that are not being used. Where there's all kinds of heat anyway. So, like, if you were just to circulate water in the desert, you got heat. You know, take the water from the earth, bring it up, circulate it through the desert where it's already warm down in the earth, circulate it through the desert where it'll burn it up to about 120 degrees. You don't need a nuclear plant no more. But you can do the same water over and over and over. It's not like a nuclear plant kills a million gallons a minute and boils it off and at the same time mixes in all the radioactive isotopes into it and releases it into your community and your estuaries and your rivers and your countries. So physical protection, category one, category two, quantities of radioactive material. The IAEA and the rest of these lapdogs are having another commission, regulatory commission, a notice to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. On the, that was yesterday. I thought it was interesting anyway to bring up the point that physical protection. You remember I was talking about that little story earlier, the guy with the handgun and everything else? Right? So they're going to get all these billions of dollars so the local media is right in the communities that are nuclear pro will do articles about that. They'll go out and visit and they say, oh, the security out there is wicked, thank goodness, and blah, blah, blah. And so it just makes their job a lot easier to give them billions of dollars for something they don't need. A pound of it will kill you in a minute. No terrorist is going to get very far with a pound of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And a terrorist can't do what Japan done anyway. If you look at all the t -t -t terrorists out there, they still couldn't pull off what Japan has got done. Japan is, is a killer. Japan's a global extinction event. Like Dana, go on Dana. Dana talking about extinction events, cookie. No, unfortunately it's not. We'd spend 15, uh, 260 days at the last 365 days on the Pacific coastline at the 26,000 islands, 260 days meandering through that with a high ball operation, looking at the damage. And all the birds are missing, the insects are missing, all the marine species, uh, species are missing. 
except for tiny, uh, the bigger bioaccumulators way up the food chain. But the herring, the sardines, the anchovies, the squid, the mackerel, the crustaceans, the krill are gone. Out of the over 300 species of birds, less than 11 species were left. There was no migratory this year. All the industries failed this year. No, no, there's an extinction event. You can't have no tidal zone and not have an extinction event because there's supposed to be 4 million species in the Pacific Ocean. And so if you took out all the species on the coastline, and we see that happening on the East Coast in heavy winters where there's a lot of pack ice, scrub the coastline, come back to spring, there's a trillion creatures per cubic hundred feet of babies. Everywhere, the entire coastline, every millimeter, every square inch is covered in life. And but... Because the ocean is a super life, right? And, and, it'll, and anything that is created or no is automatically covered in life. You, like, you remember how you would go out and build artificial reefs? Well, now you can expect no more than 100 species, and none of them will be healthy, and all of them will be um, look like they're decaying or dying, and very weak, very skinny. Okay, let me keep going, because otherwise I'm going to digress. But Japan is an extinction-level event, 100%. And I'll just jump. Walls to halt tainted groundwater from flowing in the sea completed at the Fukushima plant. Why? Just like they got the fuel out of number fours completed at the Fukushima plant, right? Have a look at this again. The fuels are on the fifth floor, uh, sixth floor of the buildings. These buildings were 10 story high, and there is no sixth floor. They tore it off. Want another picture? Well, here's what it looked like. When all was said and done, and just give me a second. My problem is I got too many, too many, too many. So that's the building you see there. See the picture up there? That's what they say the fuel pool looks like it on the inside. Here's Seth Dorn from CBS saying he's inside of this structure right here, right? See, these buildings don't touch each other. They were going to put a crane up there, not in there. But the picture they're showing you is, and they even claim they're in there. Here's this. The heart of the decommissioning work taking place here in Reactor 4. At the end of our tour... And he received a less than a dental x-ray. You can't get less than a dental x-ray when you're in a nuclear environment. But he wasn't even in Unit 4 because Unit 4 is wrecked, right? Unit 4 is completely 100%. Right, that's Unit 4. That is Unit 4! Hang on, let me see something. Here's another picture for you, Unit 4. Right, so Unit 4 is behind me, but yet they claim on TV and TEPCO and everybody else looks like deer, and that's where they got the spent rods finally taken out and all removed. But actually, they're trying to say they got it out of that building behind me. And the first thing they done in that building behind me was they gutted it, right? The fuel pools were gone, the reactors are gone. See? So it's all gone. So how? But that was the story they told, yeah. And I'm contending. Sometime this week, Dana, when you're ready, anytime you're ready, Dana, it's time to start moving. Ooh, we're almost up to the half an hour mark. Radioactive dump that burned in Nevada had passed troubles. <laughs> oh, the troubles they had, nobody knows. How dry I am. How dry I am. Nobody knows how dry I am. And so, because they sat there drunk as they buried this stuff. And that's the song they sung, most likely. How dry I am. Nobody cares. Wall, walls to halt the tainted groundwater flown in the sea. Complete it. See, that's a great headline. It gets, like, makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. And they kill all these homeless people. And they finally got something accomplished. Yeah, they're killing the homeless down there. It's not Harvard building the wall. It's not MIT building the wall. It's not Yale. <laughs> it's homeless. And the destitute. And immigrants who don't speak Japanese. Let's keep going. Radioactive dump to burn in Nevada was a nightmare that was bound to happen. 25 years after America's biggest nuclear cleanup project began, not a single drop of waste has been treated. 
Zero. 25 years, billions every year, tens of billions every year. Give me more money. Give us more money. Seven billion, 12 billion with an estimated. It was supposed to cost 4.3s, cost 12. Now they want another seven billion. They haven't even stopped it. So for not a drop of waste. Now they built this thing there and it's supposed to put the nuclear waste at Hanford in glass. I'm, I'm looking at the mic instead of the camera. But I really want my voice to be out there. And so when they built this facility, they never tighten up all the pipes. And so as soon as they try to use it, it leaked. Now they can't get back in the building. <laughs> Which was the problem with these buildings anyway. It had to be automated. Because once they turned it on, you couldn't get in there. They turned it on and it leaked like a shit. And they don't know where it's to, but it's leaking like a shit. And so they can never do it. And so they had this big stupid building originally. They spent like $3 billion on it. And then they had the wrong design. And they had to tear it down. It's, but the story go on and on and on. In Hanford, they used to have people, local people, even people that worked there, go out and sit in, in fields as they released radioactive material. And then they would test them to see how much radiation they got along with the cows that they killed. So like all the UFOs kidnapping cows and cutting cows up. That's the nuclear industry is right alongside them. They had a release and they went out and then they got the media to say that it was a UFO and just mock anybody who was concerned in order so they can have a job and a pension. Right? So all the UFOs you hear about in all these communities, that's all. That's what it is. They're going out and killing the animals in these communities and blaming it on UFOs. And you can go back and look through the stories over the last years and you'll see they're all by nuclear power plants or nuclear waste sites which is all over your country right it's like nuclear spent nuclear fuel a pound of that will kill everybody in a theater 1500 people in a minute or in the first row in a minute and everybody in the back row 20 minutes every 20 minutes till the end of time it's the same thing with a pound of this stuff and so it's all over all of this is vented in your community all the time it's just so wrong and so stupid and so evil the way that they perpetrated it out on everybody. And anybody don't understand that, you only really get to hear Harvard or Yale. You don't get to hear that, right? You don't get to hear, and I'm going to jump over to the headline and start blasting through it again. But like Seth Dorn in there, he's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm just looking for a quick clip for everybody. I just want to remind you what a gram of this stuff is like. There are as many atoms in one gram of cesium-137 as there are grains of sand in all the beaches of the world. That's 10 to 21 atoms, 10 to the 21st power. There are as many atoms... So a gram of this stuff produces enough atoms to give everybody on the planet cancers that are ionized and radiated atoms from a chain reaction that they're worried the terrorists, the t -t -terrorists are going to release into your community. Let me boogie. Okay, it's time to boogie. Russian plan to drop a nuclear bomb on London in an attack that could kill millions. And then they would attack back and then America would come help them and then China would come out to help Russia and then everybody would be dead. It's the stupidest thing imaginable. Chernobyl, Gizmodo, these idiots, these morons, these lap cheerleading left dog bootlicking freaks of nature a 10 day outbreak of fire that spewed radioactive particles into the atmosphere 400 times more radioactive material than fell after the bombing of Hiroshima and over 50 workers were killed there was over a million people died after over 3 million children got permanent disabilities and, but that's what I mean by you know these but at least they said 400 times more radioactive material in 10 days, right? So in one sense, I'm not going to beat them up too much. These isotopes suck. I'll just leave that sentence there. These isotopes suck. Forget about up neutrons, but these isotopes suck. See? I just want you to think about... I just want you to... to, to whatever. Make a shirt. These isotopes suck. And put cesium and iodine and blah, blah, blah. Shut up, Dana. Keep going. You're running out of time. We haven't even got over to Fukushima. Oh, we're at the top of the hour. I got to get in second gear. I could do that. 
Video shows blasted at a nuclear waste dump site. Now it blew barrels right across the highway. It was blowing all kinds of radioactive material across the highway. These barrels weren't going to stay intact when they went across the highway, okay? They've been underground for 40, 50 years. Go bury a 45-gallon, 55-gallon drum in your garden and see what happens. When you go back and try to uh, dig it up, it's going to fall apart in your hands. And so everything inside of it blew across the road. And people were driving by for a long time. That's, but they closed off well over 100 miles. But they, they told people it was because of flooding down the road. And they didn't explain anything. But it was actually because of the, now they admit it was because of the radioactive material. But see, they don't go back and say, we're sorry for telling you that it was the flooding. No, 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 no. We don't know why they told us that. No, no, they won't tell you that. No, they say, oh, because of the, right, because we called them out. We forced it out there. So right away they came out and lied about it, and anybody who was aggregating all those headlines about it can go back now and show what kind of lion sacks of dirt and poo these people really truly are. Pickering Nuclear Plant neighbors sent potassium iodine pills. That was a few days ago. October 22nd. And it's just another headline I haven't covered. I never got to. I got friggin' 10, 15,000 headlines I bet you I haven't got. I'll never get to. And I'm only keeping up with the recent ones even barely. Pickering Nuclear Plant neighbors sent potassium iodine pills. Yeah, because only iodine comes out of a nuclear reactor. Nudge, nudge, wake, wake. Now shut up. Go over there and lick someone's boots, you little slave. Get away from here, you little pukes. You got your pills. Shut up. We got our pensions. Even if we got to kill all of you, we're getting our freaking pensions. Take it to the bank. So unlock your potential. I might come back to that later. But anyway, that singles the end of those headlines. And so today's headlines, yesterday's headlines, we got to start boogie in. We haven't got that many to get through. I don't think so. I think I was on his last spot. The last headline we done yesterday was, yeah, nuclear expert Fukushima risk underestimated 5% of young girls will get cancer. 5%. Cancer is just one of the 1,800 autoimmune deficiencies. I'm sorry, there's 1,800 shows up before cancer. Don't you get it yet? Hot particles not included and only counts cancer, not other effects. 1,800. And then some. Every day there's a new one being discovered on beagle dogs and beagle puppies by Raymond, Dr. Raymond Gilmette. And you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll give you a quick tour of that little creature. This is a doggy hell that I'm going to show you very quick. This guy, he murders the beagle dogs and beagle puppies for a living in America and New Mexico. Dr. Raymond Gilmetti from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute. And he's got all kinds of studies out there. But tumors, lungs, livers, skeletons occur about three years. Huh? I thought it was like a banana. I thought it was like a potato chip. I thought it was like walking in the sunshine. I thought it was like getting on an airplane. I thought it was like a dental x-ray. That you turned on, you turned off. No, because these are in you and they're going beep, boop, 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 boop. They're turning themselves on and off all day and there is no remote control, no switches. Na, 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 na. You're going to die of cancer. Dana, banana, to Dana, na, na, boho, uh, Hannah. That was uh, Terry. <laughs> Trying to get something worked out there with the na, the na, na, na. So if you take banana and you take the the B away and you put a D there, you get, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a hybrid of Dana, anyway. Let's put it that way. Let me keep going. Let's get back to the headlines, otherwise, I'm going to get distracted. PBS Frontline Fukushima radiation 10% of Chernobyl. That's Miles O'Brien. He got another documentary, uh, documentary recently, right? He just has lion sack of shit. And if anybody complains, they rewrite that, that stuff to hide it away. And then they come out and try to lie again. And they do documentary after documentary after documentary where they come out and they always say, oh, you know, radiate. Chernobyl? No, Chernobyl is the worst thing on the planet. Chernobyl is one-third of size. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Chernobyl stopped after 10 days. Chernobyl, like uh, Gizmodo in the earlier headlines, only lasted 10 days, and it was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. Japan reactors didn't stop. So Miles is, and I've called him out before a number of times on my site here, The Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube. Miles is a despicable person. He's despicable. 
This, he says, like, oh, a cheeseburger is much worse than the radiation from Japan. And yet he's still after doing it constantly. He won't give it up. He won't go away. He won't stop with the lies. And everything that comes out of his mouth and every subject is about PR firms. The biggest PR firm out there is Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Just got to look at Ken Buesler and Jay Cullen to see that one. 850 scientists, and this is what we ended up with. New model show West Coast covered in Fukushima followed a week after 311. Covered. 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 So, why do you have the terrorist laws? Because the terrorists might set off a single, little, homemade, low-grade detonation and contaminate your community because it was a single, small amount. What happens if the whole country is awash with it? Do we get all of our institutions to go to work and solve some of the difficult issues we face? No. We bury it. And as all the species die on the planet, we double down. Bury it even deeper. Turn off the rad counts right across the country because it's bioaccumulating. No, no. Don't go get your warranties for the 90 Geiger counters, the expensive ones the American government's just had fail on them. Bleep, bleep. 90 dead out of 150, and they're just going to shut the whole thing down because, oh, well, 90 died. We can't, no sense leaving the rest up, right? So that's a 100% cover up because it's not a legitimate excuse. We paid for that. We paid for their training. We paid for the vehicles they got. We paid for the rent on the buildings. We paid for the building. We paid for their pensions. We paid for everything. We wanted it there. That's why it's there. Not because they decided they're going to put something there. We wanted it there, right? And we we still want it there, don't we? They done the same thing in Canada. They moved it right out of Vancouver, Victoria. Within a week of Fukushima happening, they moved the radiation network out of there, and they shut down the radiation tech network throughout the country for reporting, but kept the data for themselves. They kept. They're still doing it. These Geiger counters in America are not broken. They're just saying that to you. They don't want to share the data because it's bioaccumulating. So when you get twenty million. And you do, in a liter of rainwater, back when this was happening, massive doses. This is on, on inconceivable. This is worse than any nuclear bombing, like countries bombing each other. It started a blowing up of things. Governments are committing crime against humanity. And the Fukushima children are living in a war zone and can't leave. And childhood cancer is developing much faster than Chernobyl, 14 times faster. And, I'm, you know, this is shocking to what they're doing to their own. Japan has betrayed their own permanently. There's no way to, to switch this off or turn back the clock. And they had every opportunity to do that originally, to do anything moral. I mean, if everybody was to move to Chernobyl, the children are much better off. Because you're getting 14 times more cancer than you were at Chernobyl for those same kind of accounts. Japan official credit typhoons with helping spread Fukushima fallout on top of everything else. And it's just, they burn it in the incinerators. They're dumping it into the lakes and the rivers and the ocean itself at night time. And these are homeless and destitute and drunk and drug addicts and everything else being picked up off the street to, so they can make a few dollars for their next fix. And they can't read, they can't write the majority of them. Japanese doctor threatened for revealing data on how bad Fukushima-related re illnesses really are. And Gunnar says, we have pregnant sisters in Tokyo deliver two dead babies one with deformities that's alive, and the government refuses to disclose miscarriages, stillbirths, or any kind of uh, autoimmune deficiencies from the radioactive fallout. The slower you spread radioactive dose, the more effectively it produces cancers and inherited defects. Look at Fallujah. Do you see your travel agency ever say, hey, go to Fallujah, just beautiful temperatures. Wonderful place. No, because 84% of the women who had babies were deformed. Women won't have babies there anymore. They, they have abortions. They know it's going to be bad. They're terrified. They see they got so many children down there that that are were born because it's such a... I mean, Afghanistan, you got 5 million orphans down there from because you were trying to get 10,000 Taliban. You got millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps, millions unaccounted for... Because you wanted to get 10,000 Taliban. Then you've done the same thing in, in Iraq. And in Syria. And in Lebanon. Libya. You people are idiots. For the same 10,000 bad guys. That were created and funded by the CIA. To overthrow Saddam. And then use to demonize everybody. That's brown. It's sickening. Japan is going the very.
best way in the world for destroying the human race. I mean, the war on terror to get 10,000 people, you got another 280,000 committed suicide over the last decade, in the, or were raped in the military, rather, and 80,000 committed suicide military. To get what? 10,000 gangbangers! Millions and millions dead, millions and millions missing, millions and millions in refugee camps, entire countries destroyed, no pensions, no bank accounts, no ID, no hospitals, no future, cancer everywhere they look because you shot 5.5 million rounds a month, every month for nine years, you arrogant sacks of shits. Oh, I support the troop. No, you don't. You lying crap, Paul. If you supported troops, you'd never let them go down there. And rape each other and commit suicide and rape everything in that country on top of that that they don't kill. Come in my country and fire 5.5 million rounds a month and see how fast there's a resistance to you. You can do that in any country you want to and create a resistance and say, Oh, the Taliban are killing our soldiers. we got to send down more troops. It just makes me sick for 10,000 Taliban. You wrecked country after country after country after country and there's no end in sight. All you can do is say Taliban. Oh, there could be a couple of hundred of them left. Better go down and blow up Pakistan, India. 22,000 drone strikes to get the same thousand, 10,000 Taliban down Pakistan and India or wherever in the Kashmir regions. Japan blog author claims medical workers said malformed babies are being declared as stillbirths. Or miscarriages not included in statistics. Worse than radioactive rain after Fukushima fallout was suspended near the Earth's surfaces without settling down. Potentially a health risk, especially for children as you breathe closer to the ground. But I thought it was like a banana. That's what Ken Buesler said. Jay Cohen said it's like walking in the sunshine. Ken Buesler said it's like getting on his airplane when he went to that lecture to give you to tell you that. Oh, I got more radiation than you get from swimming off Fukushima Beach. So these people are disgusting. You have to dethrone them. You have to organize and dethrone these people. You have to call up their institutions. You have to have campaigns in those communities to get them out of there and discredit everything they've ever said. You have to end their reign of terror and misinformation and deceptions. Woods Hole, anything with Woods Hole is evil. Period. Everybody that ever come out of Woods Hole is a PR firm. Period. Bar nobody. Japan. We just covered that one. All 20 calves born at a farm were still born. Birds. But not humans, Dana. No, Dana. It's natural for calves. They'll all be born to still birds, Dana. You're just making shit up, Dana. Dana. You goofy would even never even had sound at the beginning of your video, Dana, for the first minute. You don't know what you're doing, Dana. Yeah, well, I got sound now, don't I? Japan official credits typhoons would help him spread Fukushima follow. Woo! We already covered that one. ta 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 ter drills at Fukushima nuclear plant. Fears about the highly fragile calling system. A number four, a number three, a number two, or number one. Who knows what this one was about? Hang on. Police and the Japanese Coast Guard are conducting a joint drill Saturday because they bored out of their mind. They need more money. They can't get money unless there's terrorists to uh, protect us from. That's the Taliban. The word the Taliban is going to come down there. We well, give us more money. But it wasn't just there. They done that to Diney too, right? At the same time, the number two, about 10 kilometers from Fukushima, number one. 150 police officers. And so they're worried that a terrorist is going to get radiation and spread it into your community. Yeah, I know. Huh? That's probably the stupidest thing I've ever heard. But we're talking about TEFCO, so... <coughs> when you're talking about TEFCO, you can't make it up, even if you want to. Let's put up this model. Here's what TEFCO has done to us, and continues to do it to us, nonstop, but yet they're having terrorist drills. Because they're afraid someone might come down and kill one of them, most likely. Because they're afraid someone's going to chop their fucking head off. Excuse the language. Not really. They're, but I mean, that's what they're worried about, is that someone's going to catch off to them and gut them. And they are in the near future in Japan. People will kill these people in Japan in the near future. 
Just like we see with the dog studies and the animal studies, this stuff is going to hit them all at one time. It's going to hit this whole planet at one time. But Japan is devastated in North America. North America getting pounded. This is only a model based over a couple of days from a single release from a single reactor. The real model, you couldn't see anything on planet Earth. You wouldn't, if, if radiation was visible from Fukushima, you couldn't even see me on this camera because you wouldn't be able to see your, your screen and I wouldn't be able to see my camera. And my camera wouldn't be able to see me because we are living in a bathed in an environment repeatedly of those types. 1,500 particles, you know, I've seen up to 12,000 atoms in a cubic meter of air. It's a shocking number. 20 million atoms in a liter of rain. 20 million. These are frightening numbers. And that's why we see the die-off on the Pacific coastline. And so, like, the, when the media is... Right now, what we got to do is we got to... We got to put our backs to the wall and come out and expose what's really. They're going to blame it on everything from processed meats. They're going to blame it on your cell phone. They're going to even probably blame it on GMO. But nobody's going to try to point at the real reason, that the most important reason, I should say. These are all reasons, don't get me wrong. But the most important reason is going to be radioactive fallout because it infiltrates every aspect of your life and every part of your, of your uh, bio system itself because it, you uptake so much of it. And so we need solutions. Uh, the, the humanity in this planet's last stand is not going to be, we said, to hell with it. No. This means we put our, we, 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 went, we went to war against them too. In the, in, because that we were obligated under our Bill of Rights Constitutions and Magna Carters to do that. We we're obligated to hold them accountable. We we're obligated to hold our own system accountable. That's our obligation. That is not a crime. They might try to arrest you for sedition and prosecute you. But you, you have the obligation to your Magna Carters, your constitutions, your Bill of Rights that you can argue and win. And that they want, once you argue that, they will have to leave you alone because they don't want other people getting that idea. Airplane crashes affecting Fukushima spent fuel pull a key security issue for the future. Give us a lot of money for the river. The terrorists might get you. Right, that's what they said in Americans. Now we got millions dead, millions missing, millions in refugee camps. They get 10,000 gangbangers. Country after country after country after country. At some point, at some point, the people behind all of this will have nowhere to run and nowhere to hide. And that point is coming sooner than later because people are going to go looking for someone tangible they can get at. And these are people they can get at. These are known people. And they think they're going to get away with it. They think there's no repercussion. They think that this is... They're, they're doing this for $100,000 a year jobs. They're doing this for a pension because they couldn't get a job anywhere else. Oh! Child cancer's risk of cancer from radiation is 10 to 100 times higher than an adult. We got 12 minutes left. Piece of cake, Dina. I'm going to get rid of it's right through all the headlines today in the new show tomorrow. I'll start up on episode 12. Tokyo drinking water unsafe. Do you think it got better? Yeah, well, huh? Huh? Do you think they actually put in proper filters to filter it out? Huh? Do you think that stuff is not going to be like that now for thousands and hundreds of thousands of years? Huh? Do you? Really? You just ignore it like it never happened? If it's unsafe for infants, it's unsafe for everything else on the entire planet. That's why you had those terrorist drills. That's why you had those terrorist laws. That's why you spend all that money on those pretty outfits through administration, not legislation. That's why you got to call the police because you don't have no authority, but you look like it. Belarus expert, radiation limits too high after Fukushima. Japan allows 20 times more cesium. Does that make it okay? Does that make it safe? Because some shithead in a $5,000 suit said, put another zero there. Why isn't he held accountable? The police will come after you for parking tickets, but these are allowed to do that. Police can go arrest him for doing something like that. 100%. Sedition. And it's a uh, crime against... Look, if I knock you down, you know, in a bar fight, and we get arrested, but then next year you die from that injury... 
they can re-arrest me now and charge me with murder. And so these people are murdering you and the onus is on you to get in their faces. The onus is on you because the system is not going to go after them like it would if you knock down somebody with your, in a bar fight or something like that. Like your court systems are full of the most impoverished people in your communities and crimes that are non-victims. Your whole justice system is full of it all day. Your jails are full of it. They don't have a single banker in there. If it does, they're talking about all the media throughout the entire planet. They don't have a single wealthy child in there because they're privileged. It doesn't have any government children in there because they're privileged. They're expected to take over and cover up the mistakes of their parents in their government jobs. It doesn't have any children hardly, period, from private institutions or private schools. They don't get criminal records. They don't community service if they actually show up in a night courtroom. I'm sure there's a couple of examples out there, Dana, and people want to use one or two examples to debunk the 99.9 against the 1%, 0.01% that the court systems are in North America and probably every other country. They said to keep you down and then the local media demonize you because you got into a bear fight in their local papers, right? He tries to humiliate you and blah, blah, blah. And then no one wants to hire you because you're drinking and driving. They're always doing it and they get through to to check the roadblocks. Photographer in Fukushima, it's a panic. There's no way to escape as the gas stations are closed and rescuers are all gone. So everybody there is getting major doses. But it takes 5, 10, 15 years for it to really manifest. But there's, there's thousands of heart attacks, thousands of people dying prematurely Explained away. Seven people on one street. Right? Seven people on one street dropped dead. Oh, but it's natural causes. Got nothing to do with Japan. Well, it's the scariest street on the planet. Period. Bar no street. Photographer. X-ray like images show how radioactivity is spread through the bodies of Fukushima wildlife. And so this doctor was able to show with the black dots how the radiation that's radiation in that insect that's that's a bird so that's a bird picking up all the radiation flying through the plumes originally and then you can take that bird and bring it to another country where there's no radiation and he'll still have those spots till the end of the day and then his children will be mutated and they'll have like these little white feathers under their chins and blah, blah, blah from their thyroids, getting cancer and tumors, and dying off. He said, I couldn't help, another Tokyo professor, I couldn't help feeling pity for the tree. X-ray light image shows the spread of radioactivity. It's the equivalent of miscarriage, of stillbirth, and malformations. Cesium remains dispersed throughout the water column from the surface to the ocean floor. From the surface... To the ocean floor. And we're winding down. We got six minutes. Let me just cover that one. I doubled them. Fukushima radiation is still circling the globe. And the levels consistently rise and fall in 40 day cycles. Because it's mixed through to your columns. Right around the entire planet. This is what I'm telling you all the time. Fukushima hospital worker says five out of seven babies were born with birth defects and that Down syndrome, lost by miscarriage. And after this, her husband agreed to evacuate. That was uh, 2012. What do you think is going on today? Because it never stops coming out of Japan. Hang on. New decontamination map showed cesium. This is just one of many I got. Uh, over 900 kilometers from Fukushima, west of Hiroshima. So that was uh, November the 16th, 2011. Iodine 131 detected in Austria, the Czech Republic, Hungary, Hungary, other countries. An indicator of nuclear chain reaction 10 days after criticality talks at Fukushima, November 11th. Um, 
elevator radiation in Germany, Sweden, Slovakia, the UK, Poland, Denmark, um, Germany, Sweden, Austria, Hungary, Soviet, Slovakia, and Can I mean Canada, United States is heavily Mexico. <coughs> Head of Fukushima Health Study. 100 millisieverts a year okay for pregnant moms. Effects of radiation do not come to people that are happy. And they come to people that are weak-spirited. How disingenuous and how twisted is that Hippocratic oath that he took, I wonder. He needs to go, and everybody needs to go check out Dr. Raymond Gilmetty. Dr. Raymond Gilmetty is the authority on long-term consequences of just a little tiny bit let alone being bathed in that environment. We know Chernobyl, we know Chernobyl, I'm sorry, and that's the buckyballs from the sulfur peroxide hydrogen. Uh, the toxicity of inhaled plutonium dioxide in beagle dogs. So like Dr. Ray McGillman, he tells us what low doses, right, does, all the animals die. They all die, period. There is no exceptions to that rule. And this guy says, oh, all you got to do is smile. If you're happy, it can't hurt you. Dana, you photoshopped it all, Dana. You're making it up, Dana. You bullshitter, Dana. You hear that in the comment sections, everybody out there attacking me. Even though I'm showing you all the data, I'm bringing it in. I'm doing everything I could possibly do. I don't know how I could do any more than what I'm doing. I don't know how I can do more than what I've done. I'll, I'll continue to try, but I don't know how I could provide more in your face in your face in your face dude in your face data as I'm my antiques uh, I could probably not it's not helping I'm sure but that's just my personality and I don't really care uh, the numbers I can do about it I can't change my personality to please a couple of people on the internet or to please the opposition who doesn't like a sense of humor or doesn't like in your face or doesn't like the fact that I'm even existing Right, I was, they tried to co-op me when I first started this. Remember that? And what they done was uh, major universities contacted me and wanted to provide me with equipment. Same stuff I'm trying to raise money with now for to go buy myself now, so I'm not um, I'm not their slave. And then they wanted to provide me a platform to blog on and an audience and guests and papers, peer review studies. And I told them to get lost. I, and I never said those words. I said thank you, but I'm not. I'm okay. If I need your help, maybe I'll, I'll I'll contact you later. But they become they became insistent and started attacking me repeatedly in the comment section, saying Dana won't let us help him, and I didn't need your help. And I said if I needed your help, I would help you. But you still continue to to come in and attack me and big debates about why I wouldn't allow uh, bootleg and cheerleading lap dogs of the nuclear industry to infiltrate what I was trying to accomplish. Because I didn't want you there, and I had no reason to ha accept you. And why would you want someone like me? Why would you care about someone like me that you become upset and that you insist that you got to give me equipment, that you got to give me? Uh, that's me, buddy. Hang on, I just gotta say, yep. Um, and. Uh, 11 becquerels a kilogram of cesium, you start to see heart problems. Radioactive substances roll five kilometers. We only got a couple of minutes left, two minutes left, one minute left. Uh, in the air, carried by the jet streams of the U.S. and Europe. Uh-huh. That's right, jet streams are real. And a man was arrested. And that's all of them. We got through them all. Woo! Hoo, hoo, hoo. We actually got through them. And right on the nose. Okay, we're like a minute early. I'm just going to take a little bit of time, pick my nose a little bit. Why are we waiting on me? Where's Jay's picture? Oh, there's Jay and Ken's picture wiping on, wiping the snots in Jay's and Ken's picture's face. I do it in real life, but I can't find them. They always hide away. They only come out at night, right? And so, like, if Jay Collin is coming down the road or in your mall or in your community, or Ken Busler from Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, Jay Collins from UVic, like, we got to do a video on how do you protect yourself and your children from these people because they'll eat your children, right? They're nuclear apologists. They'll eat your children. That's what they do. That's why they got the jobs because they eat children and they lie to everybody. 
and I'll deal with that in a minute there, I guess, or not. And it could be someone telling me, Dana, you're not streaming, Dana. Uh, this afternoon. Okay, I guess so. Mm. I got to hang on. That's me, buddy. That's Roger. I'm just telling. I'm not sure if I'll be here this afternoon. I might pass out yet. Who knows? Let me get rid of that. Let's keep going. Let's come in and say goodnight to everybody. Hooyah, everybody. And thank you once again, everybody, for putting up with Dana's antiques. You know, a million. Roger, I'm freaking live streaming, buddy. He must have some good news or something. He's all excited. That's cool, too. He's probably going to bring his... He wants to park in one of his boats here or something. Or his front-end loader or something. I don't know. Woof! Hi, LA! Mindy! Hugs, everybody. You too, Mindy. Thank you, Gary. Nev Killer. I'm going to come and say hi to everybody. Show's over officially. Hour and one minute. I'm going to come and chat to everybody for a few minutes. Hopefully, I'm chatting. Streaming. You must have some good news or something. He's all excited. Chuck. Woof. T44. And uh, Terry Ann. Hi, Terry. And let me see Cotton Top. Gary. Albert. Yeah, I know. I rant sometimes. Albert and Alex sent me another song uh, for the shows. I gotta wait to make sure there's no copyright on it before I play it, because it could take down my site, right? Cop freaking copyright, freak, accident. You're welcome, Alex. Adam, yeah. Candace, Chuck. I know Miss Milky was here earlier. She's probably still here or doing videos. Miss Milky, there she is. <laughs> take the word out of my mouth. And uh, Shima. And, yeah, the rants are good. The first beginning of the video, I didn't have any audio for the first 30 seconds or a minute. It's always something with me, isn't it? Show's over. Candace, and I know Amters, uh, she does a singing choir class or something uh, each Tuesday, so she'll be catch her later. I know Elaine's here. I seen Elaine there earlier. And... Which is Shanigan 775. And everybody. Let me see. I'm just looking to see if there's someone there. Nev Killer. Just in case. Duck Lamb. I'm just ripping through it. Rattle Shark. Mark. Illusion is over. Tree Wolf. It's Milky again. Castello. Yeah, I'm looking for names. I didn't say hi. Just in case. Hang on a second. Bear with me, folks. I know the hounds know what I'm up to. I'm just going through the comment section. Because I don't get all the comments. I just get the last 40 or 50 comments. So it's not going to hurt me to scroll through them and see if I can see somebody there I didn't say hi to. Before I keep going. And Mindy, I said hi. Mitch. Yeah, okay, so let me let me just talk a little bit more about the TriCasters. And so the TriCaster Advance Edition, Dana, just go with the medium or the little mini Dana. Well, we can't be a very high ball operation unless we'll shoot for the, for the, for the stars and we'll be happy with what we get, you know? That's how I work anyway. And ideally, you see that switchboard there? That's like 4000 bucks, Right? So, and then you got to buy three 100-foot cables to plug it in and HDI cables. Oh, well, whatever. And so, what I'm trying to accomplish is, you see what I'm doing right now with the software I got? It's very difficult. <laughs> and it's amateurish in many ways, but it's, there's still nothing here that can hold a candle to us for live stream and just a one-man show. 
and that's going to saturate the internet with data like we do. But uh, let me come back over because you weren't watching. I'm just yakking instead of springing that up. I'll bring it back up for you so you can see it. What I'm talking about was these TriCasters, and I just want to dwell on it because I probably won't get a chance to do it again as soon as I got it up there. I was just looking at it before we went alive. And you can see I've been doing my homework to have our TriCaster 410. The TriCaster 410 is the one I would, the one I could settle for. You got a TriCaster Mini, it's 6,000. Time you buy everything else is around 12,000. And for an extra 6,000, you get the 410. And the 410 is like the one you see there now. And the 410, I can do everything that CNN or MSNBC. So I can bring people into the conversation, but I can key them out too, everything around them, bring them right in the studio alongside of me. And there's just endless amounts of useful stuff. Like I can create a graphics on screen in real time by just typing in the number that I want, the values, and boom, we can have a graphic on the screen that I can manipulate with the cursor for everybody. For whatever headline, right, they give you a number, we can bring it in. But there's all these other just endless, uh, endless amounts of features. You can make movies and documentaries, uh, incredible, but incredible uh, quality of material that you can produce. I can bring in a ghost of a behind me from a video and turn, but I can manipulate them to get them to do things. But I can get the whole program to do it. So I can take you can take a panoramic pictures wherever you two send it to me. It'll stitch it together in about forty seconds. And I can be in that environment. And I can pan around the whole environment. It'll stitch it all together for us. And then I can bring you into the environment. But you can walk around in the environment. I can walk around the environment too. Like that the picture covers. So it's really bizarre uh, te te uh, techniques. But extremely useful for keeping people's attention. For bringing the information. Always in a new energetic type of ways. And so that's uh, what I'm trying to accomplish. Because I feel that, that we have to do that. I feel that that is the onus we have upon us, that we have to accomplish this. And like, think about what I'm saying here. I'm saying that once I get it, I have to work like a dog to, to have the skills to use it properly. And then I have to work like a dog constantly to uh, utilize it. And that just just to, to, to do the things I'm going to say I'm going to do, it means I have to be at it all day, every day, like I'm doing right now with what I'm doing. So I've already proven over the last couple of years what I'm actually like and what I'm capable of and, and, and where my soul and heart is actually too and what I see as as the way forward and and a weapon, of, a tool of destruction for me. As a weapon of mass destruction, what you're looking at for someone like me. And I can really come out and pound the guts out of these people. I can bring them in and get their side of the story and then help them understand how wrong it is of what they're saying and what they're doing and the confusion they're causing, and that, you know, I could really, I can get these people on, I'm sure I would get them on the show, and they, they think they could probably beat me in a conversation. <laughs> they got another team coming, but we'll let them try. I'm happy to let them have a try. And we can, we can show the world their weaknesses and their flaws, but we can use it for inspirational stuff. This TriCaster will allow me to make inspirational videos like you can't even imagine. The bling, 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 bling. That will really resonate for people. People say, "Oh, Dan, we like you as a blogger." Well, that's I'm sorry, but uh, there's more to more to life than than uh, what we enjoy. There's the future of the entire planet at stake, of every species on this planet that is still left at stake, and that we have to lead the charge and tell other people, and we might always have to lead the charge, unfortunately. But we need a revel. You know how most of these movements is where people. There'd be such a mass awakening of people and so many clever people and so much more articulate and more presentable people show up and are able to really resonate with the people that are trying to come find a resolution to it. You know, we live in a technological wonder. We live in a technological imaginations as limits. And so I grew up in an environment where I couldn't even imagine using a cell phone or a computer where that didn't exist. It wasn't created yet. And growing up in that environment where there was no such thing as cable, TV, let alone TV, and growing up where we never even had cars. And so growing up in this environment and doing the things I'm doing right now, I, 
I have to remind myself sometimes that I that that, that I really did grow up in that environment. That is not, you know, that that really did happen. I really did was a kid. I really did grow up. No concept that the future would hold something like this where we can actually even just talk uh, to anybody across the country through these uh, simple device, let alone a cell phone, but like a visual thing or where we can produce our own movies and just nothing to it and where anything we wanted was accessible immediately through the internet. That was inconceivable to someone when I was 20 years old. I couldn't conceive that, no, no more could any of my friends or families or loved ones. But here I am. And what I do is I can conceive what's behind me and how I can use that. But I can't conceive it just like I can't conceive when I was 20 years old that I'd be doing what I'm now. I can't conceive what I'll be doing in the near future with equipment like that behind me. So we raised uh, $2,100 so far to get us there. And at the meantime, if I didn't get that, does that mean I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing? If I don't raise anything, does that mean that I won't continue to do the things I'm doing? If do, do you think for a second that I will all of a sudden, okay, well, I can't get what I want. I'm not going to do this no more. It's no fun. No, I'm fine. I can do what I've got right now. i got no issues with that. Right, i got no issues with that. I do got issues that I can't do enough and that I'm, I'm, I'm restricted um, with what i got and that I can't take it to the next level no matter how much I wish every morning when I wake up or go to bed at night that and struggle all day with the things I got because I lack the proper basic. And, you know, saying basic is, to me, sounds surreal because we're talking a stupid amount of money, $30,000 to put that together. And that, you know, the only way I can do it is donations. And so you can donate, you can find links below my video how to do that. But once again, that, that is a necessity and that is what I will have and that is what I will get and that is what I will focus on and that is what we need and that is who I am. I'm, I'm the guy that's at the front and that, you know, I need certain things to get certain things done. But I need only one thing to do many things, right? And that's what we're doing with this uh, system that I'm using right now where I can import the videos or pictures or graphs or anything else on the drop of a hat into the conversation like I'm doing right now. And so I can give you stunning graphics, but I have to do a lot of work to prepare this just to get it there before I could use it. With that TriCaster, I can just whip it right off. It's inconceivable. I can crunch it up and post it to all kinds of sites. I'm just stressing the fact that, yeah, I haven't got high quality stuff right now to do things with, but it's coming. Oh, baby, it's coming. And so we'll come in. Say goodnight to everybody. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. Yeah, take care, folks. Hugs for everybody. Just making sure I say goodnight to everybody. Positive affirmation. Miss Melky. Elaine. Ellie. Albert. Chuck. Shanikin. Nip Killer. Elaine says, let's all find a part-time job. Get Dana his gear. And once again, you know, I got to do it. I got to ask for it. This is the platform I got. And so a lot of people have gave and, and given and continue to give. And as this reaches more people, we'll get our way and we'll have that. And I'm sure we'll need something else at that stage. It's not just that equipment. You're going to need cameras. You're going to need $1,500 worth of lights. You're going to need all these cables. So it's a daunting task I got set for myself. And I might just settle for the mini rather than put everybody through it. But if I keep asking, I might get lucky. You never know. Save us all that misery. But it's we got we got to do it. We got no options. We got no choice. There is no common ground out there. That there's no one out there we can put our fate into if we don't put our fate on ourselves first. And we have to do it ourselves. This is the problem. The others will show up, but we need to reach them. We can't reach them with the platforms we got, but we can reach them by taking it to another level and so it can't be denied. And we can reach it by, you know, that kind of equipment forces me, forces me to justify it. And so there'll be really many shows a day, each day. There'll be many short, little, beautiful clips to really drive certain points and, and, and topics, homes that are pertinent and trending and everything else and that we will f we will fit in and we will find a better way forward than not doing nothing at all that's all i'm saying
we're looking for something real and something that can give us the an act of good faith. And until that, we will push like you can't even imagine with everything we got. Hugs for everybody. Don't forget, I love you. Don't think I don't. You don't have to donate. You don't have to give to me. You don't have to comment or anything. You just have to know better and pay attention and try to do the right thing when you can in your own personal life is all I'm saying. Hugs for everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.